What's up you guys, it's Message here and welcome to the 14th episode on the Hardcore Iron Man. Before starting off I wanted to get 81 range but I didn't quite get it because there was a group of people running around here crashing every single one. As you can see some of the sand crabs are uh, basically tagged off and can't hit them so <laughs> that kind of sucks. But I also wanted to mention that I do read every single comment, at least I try to. So don't get me wrong, I'm not ignoring... I'm not an ignoring any comments, I, I don't do this full time, I'm just an amateur YouTuber that's doing this in his spare time because it's fun and that means that some things might slip by and that I don't do everything maximally efficient and that I don't have the time to figure out how to do everything 100% correctly so please excuse me for that, I don't make all of my money doing this, I'm I'm still a student, you know, I have loads of other obligations as well and that makes it quite difficult sometimes for me to read everything and comment on everything and I'm sorry for that if that offended you by any way or sort. Um, if it did, then sorry again, but hope you liked this episode. I do manage to kill the Iron Dragons in this one, so hope you will enjoy it slightly more than the last few. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's end into the episode. Okay, so I did manage to get 81 ranged, already one fourth until 82. And the next thing on my list is to get uh, one small favor done. But in order to do that, I will have to complete Jungle Potion. And then Shiloh Village and then I will be able to complete one small favor. So I'm thinking about doing quests which I completely hate but I do want to get 38 herb lore and uh, doing one small favor is one thing that uh, will enable me to get that. So uh, yeah, I think I will have to do quests now. Fuck my life. And uh, this should be the last herb for jungle potion if this idiot could please not attack me there we go of course and we did the quest and we also gained the herb lore level that is very very nice 33 herb lore and uh, i think i'm gonna do fairy ring part one first because i do want to unlock the easier transportation of the fairy rings and after that we can do shiloh village nice Okay, so before I can do uh, the fairy tale part one that is required to go through the fairy rings, I will have to do nature spirit. So as you can see, that is what we are doing right now. It should not be that long of a quest, at least that is what it looks like. So uh, yeah, I'll just be back after I've got this done. Okay, so this should be the ending of the quest. I believe if I do search this, then here it should go. I guess I'm not sure I have not done this quest in ages but there it is got some very nice experience as well don't know whether I gained a level and we did one crafting level snakeskin boots that will actually be a quite decent improvement to my ranging gear but um, that was this quest that means that I can start fairy tale part one and Hopefully I can complete it as well. All right, so here we are at the start of Fairy Tale Part One. I think I will be able to complete it. Um, there is one part in the quest where I do need to get three random items, so I hope that I will be able to get those. But if not, then uh, we will probably uh, not complete the quest. I think we don't need the items to be able to use the fairy rings. But I'm not entirely sure. We'll find out though because I am just going to complete this until uh, until I can't anymore. Yeah, uh, that, that made zero sense. So I'll, I'll just do this quest. Be right back. Okay, so as you can see, that is the most beautiful item list I can wish for. I have an Uncut Diamond in my bank. I think I have an Edible Seaweed in my bank as well, and otherwise I can easily pick that up. And the Rock Cave Eel should be very easy for me to catch. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that... Yeah, there we go, Cave Eel. So that's easy as well. Just gonna pick up those items, and then I can for sure complete this quest. And here we go for our victory walk of this 
this quest and I kind of misread or I, I did not really remember that well that this is not the quest you get the fairy rings unlocked. It is the next one. But anyways, that is the quest completed. 21 farming as well, which is very nice. And we even got a magic level. So our total level is going up there slowly but surely. Uh, next up is fairy tale part 2 and that should enable us to do the fairy ring teleport. Um, in order to complete it, I will have to get 57 herb lore and 49 farming. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and that is why I will just complete uh, the quest until I have to go to the fairy rings. So I think I'm just going to do that right now and then I'll talk to you after I've got that completed. So I think that I now have the fairy rings unlocked. I'm not 100% sure, so I am going to try it out. I did talk to... I, I think I did talk to everyone I needed for uh, this to work. So we're just going to check it out, configure, and then or that's just something that I have to go to for the quest. And there we go. I think that that does the job, it seems like. Very nice. Uh, that means that I can finally complete Shiloh Village, after which I can do one small favor. Yay. How nice is Quest? And then it was early morning in the Netherlands. Message woke up and forgot to press the record button on his microphone. Or well, the audio setting. So I did not record anything at all. But as you can see, I did complete Shiloh Village. Running towards the ending of the quest over here. Shiloh Village was kind of a bitch. It took uh, quite a long time to complete. And I did not really like doing it. But you can see that I did complete it eventually. And then we headed over to doing the uh, One Small Favor quest. Which, I don't know. I did not mind doing it. And it's strange to say that. Because usually I hate questing. But One Small Favor is just running around a lot. And I don't really dislike it that much. It's not like a puzzle or something. You just have to run around a lot. But here you can see I handed in the last uh, red log shit or something. You have to do for the quest. And uh, that is very, very nice. Also got the two experience lamps, which I, of course, being an Iron Man, put into uh, her lore, as you can see. Which is very nice, because that means that I can now make prayer potions. And I'll just head into the clip where I do that, and once I do reach to the Iron Dragons, uh, pretty much right now. So, uh, returned after that major fuck-up, even in YouTube, I'm a complete idiot. Uh, well recording videos that is so I'm just gonna make all of the prayer potions that I can with my snape grass And then the next thing on my list is to actually do another quest Which uh, most of you probably haven't expected me to say that but I see that they have added this one it, they, they actually added it like three days ago, but I just want this entire list to be green and uh, as of now It's not really green anymore. So it should be a really easy quest no requirements whatsoever and very short but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do that quest and then we can head off to the Iron Dragons and I'll probably just be back after I've gotten there. So see you in a second. Okay, there we go. That's the simple quest point that I wanted to get. Uh, not as simple as I thought though. It took me a good 15 minutes and I thought this quest would only take like five, but there is one part that is really annoying. Anyways, that is all of the free to play quests completed, which is uh, nice. Now this list is green again. So uh, that means we can finally head off to doing the Iron Dragons in melee distance with prayer potions. This is hopefully going to be a lot better than all of the other trips combined. Would be very nice. Well, here we go. Let's check this out, see how it goes. I have quite a lot of potions with me and I really hope that this is going to be a lot better than what it used to be. At least giving me a few more kills per trip would be very nice. But we're going to find out soon enough. So I'm out of food and you can see I just got 6 kills which is amazing. I only spent about 5 prayer... Nah, I did spend a bit more on prayer potion. I think I brought 8 so that means that I spent like 6. About 6, a little less. And uh, that is really decent, you know. Thanks for the tips everyone. I do appreciate it a lot because this does give me six skills instead of two or three. And that was my mouse. I, I gotta buy a new mouse. My mouse is fucking up so much lately. When I'm clicking just once, it just wants to double click. And 
I really don't know what the fuck's happening, so... Um, yeah, I, I really... Oh, wait. I gotta do this, but I really need to buy a new mouse, because this is annoying as fuck. Anyways, I'm just gonna do this, and then we'll, uh, complete the Iron Dragon task in, in like, a couple of minutes, probably. Like, what the fuck? How is this even happening? Thanks, everyone. We'll see you in a second. Yes, okay, Runite limbs, Runite limbs. I'm getting the fuck out of here. All right, that is... Oh, my God, that's so insane. I was getting tea as well. I thought, don't die, don't die, don't die. And then I got Runite limbs. Yes, I'm... Wow, oh, my fucking God. <laughs> oh, yes, finally. That is... Oh, my fucking God. I'm actually so happy right now. You can't imagine. It's taking me so long to get those. And, uh... Oh, wow. Damn. Alright. I think I can make them, like, straight away as well. Because I do have U-logs. I do have crossbow strings. Oh, yes. 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 Thank you. It's been paying off. It has been paying off. Let's make this fucking crossbow. And there we go. Runite crossbow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy. 81 mitral bolts left, but it should go a lot quicker right now since I do not have to wield that adamant crossbow anymore. Uh, hopefully, I can complete this task now. I only have 12 more to go, and I think I will be able to do that with these bolts. If not, then I will just continue doing it with the bow crossbow or something, but... Uh, yeah, I finally got it. The rune crossbow. I am happy as, as hell right now. <laughs> Let's do it. And uh, that chat message in my chat box is probably the best message I have ever seen on this account right now. And uh, that means that we're gonna have to Neve pick up another Slayer task. And if it's gonna be dragons, then I will... I have, I have a teacup in my hand right now. I'll... I'll throw it on the ground. Like, for real. I don't want to see any fucking dragons appear in that chat box in a second when I click on assignment with Neve. L let's find out, though. Black. <laughs> this is a cup. Yeah. I literally just dropped it on the ground. Fucking hell. Dragons. What the fuck, game? Oh my god. And that's the first five tasks I've completed on this account. Which means that I got the beautiful points. Which I can eventually use to get a Slayer Helmet and that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I could just... As you can see over here, I can just um, save spot these. So I didn't have to throw the teacup on the ground, I guess. But uh, anyways, uh, dragons still suck. Because I had to use a bone crossbow. Since I did not have any bolts anymore for uh, my rune crossbow. Um, yeah, okay, that, yeah, I'll, I'll just admit my mistakes, and uh, I'll honor the teacup with a beautiful memorial at my home. But for now, I'm gonna go to Varrock and get a new assignment, uh, but that will be done on stream, so this is the ending of this episode. Did quite a lot of grinding in this one as well, a lot of quests as well, so hope you enjoyed it a lot, and I will be seeing you on my stream perhaps if you're watching this video right now i will be streaming hopefully i guess if it's still on a sunday or wherever you are in the world i will definitely see you on the next episode uh for sure so yeah bye enjoy your day Endeavor,